Hello everyone, I am Arpit Kumar Sharma and welcome to Pebbly. So today I am going to tell you how you can add Facebook leads to your StackBuy account automatically. Now, why would you need this automation? There are, you know, uh, very much possible reasons why would you need this automation. One of them is whenever somebody will submit a Facebook lead, that Facebook lead will be automatically inserted into the StackBuy database and you can view that at one place altogether. Second thing, uh, like you are running a digital marketing company and one person is responsible for the Facebook lead ads and the other person is responsible for the data. So whenever someone is running Facebook lead ads, the data will be sent to StackBuy automatically and the other person can go and close the sale with the help of stack by account access where every detail has been given third point is whenever you have multiple pages on facebook and multiple lead ad forms has been made in you know multiple formats you can go and you know automatically connect your stack by database to multiple forms and you can have those leads in multiple stack by databases so that you can filter out where you want to go and put your concentration to. So there are multiple benefits to do this automation. Now, what are we going to do? First, we are going to make a Facebook lead ad, then we will submit the Facebook lead. After that, that lead which has been submitted to Facebook, it will be inserted or I should say it will automatically be put into the stack by database and with the help of automation, which will be given to us by Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an integration and automation software service which will help us connect Facebook and StackBuy together. So now you will ask me how we are going to do that. So for that you have to come with me to the screen. Okay, <clears throat> so we are back at our screen and now you know what we have to do. We have to go to the address bar and type in P-A-B-B-L-Y pabli.com slash connect and as soon as you will do that you can see we will be redirected to this page now you have two options here first one is sign in second one is sign up so obviously for signing in first you have to sign up now let me tell you signing up is absolutely free and you are getting 100 free tasks every month from our side so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you right here okay so I'm just going to sign in because I already have an account here. And now I'll just go for Pabli Connect and access now. Now what we are doing, <coughs> we are going to create a list on Stack Buy where a new Facebook lead ad or I should say a, face, a new Facebook lead will be submitted to the Stack Buy account. Okay. So I'll just go here and I'll type Facebook to Stack Buy integration okay now you can name it whatever you want to name it it is up to you i wanted to name this now <clears throat> you can see there are two windows first one is trigger second one is action now trigger uh, window is the window where an event is happening at the start which means when this happens and the action part is do this which means uh, you know what the event is happening in the trigger part will give you know will uh, make the process go further and at the end the action part will take place okay now what we are going to do when this happens means when facebook lead ads come to us so facebook lead ads trigger event will be new lead now what we have to do we have to connect it now, as you can see, it is asking me for the select ex existing connection and add new connection. So I can select the existing connection, but just to show you all, I am going to delete this and I am going to add new connection for all of you. So I'll just go here, add new connection and connect with Facebook lead ads. So what will happen? Our Facebook account will automatically be connected to our uh, Pebbly Connect account. And now you can see here, we have the Facebook page name and the lead ad form. So how you are going to do that or how you are going to create one. So I'll just go here for you. Let me go back. 
So this is my Facebook account and these are the pages I have in my account. So what you have to do, you have to go to the pages section. And now I am going to use this page. This is Pabli Tech. And if you do not know how to make a Facebook lead ad form, you can just go to publishing tools. And then you can click on all tools. And here you will find the option of forms. You can see instant forms. So here you can find the forms I have created. You can also create a new uh, form by clicking on create form. But I already have a form here magnetic marketing. So whenever I will choose this page, which page? Pebbly tech page. Pebbly tech, let me type in Pebbly tech. So this is Pebbly tech. And whenever I choose the Pebbly tech page, you can see I have three forms here. No, more than five forms. I think one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So I have five forms here. Two of them must be in the arch, uh, archive. Now what we have to do here, I have one form by the name magnetic marketing. So what I am doing, I will select magnetic marketing form here. Now, whenever a lead is generated into my magnetic marketing form, a data will come here through the response. Okay. Now, how we are going to do that? Let me go here. Let me click this and test form. So you can see it is, uh, you know, it already has some default values. I am just going to put other values here. So my <coughs> other values are the social fever 2020 at the rate gmail.com. Okay. So this is my email. And my full name is Arpit Kumar Sharma. Okay. Okay. It has already taken it. That's good. So Arpit Kumar Sharma is my full name. The social fever 2020 at the rate gmail.com is my name. Now, as soon as I will click on next and as soon as I will click on submit, a response will be submitted to the Pebbly Connect part where you can see, I'm really sorry. I forgot to do save and send test request. To capture a webhook response, first we have to go and do the save and send test request part. So let me do that first. So save and send test request. And now you can see it has captured the webhook response here. So you can see this the social fever 2020 at the rate gmail.com and the full name is Arpit Kumar Sharma. Now what we have to do. Our first part or our first step is completed where we successfully connected our Facebook page to our Pebbly Connect so that whenever a new Facebook lead is created, the response will be captured into the Pebbly Connect <coughs> dashboard. Okay. Now what we are going to do, we are going to create a new row. Whenever a new lead will come to us, a new row will be created into our stack by account. So here we will go for create a row. And now I will connect my stack by account. This is my stack by account here. Let me go back and let me show you. This is my stack by account. And I have uh, just created a new stack for you all. Uh, Facebook lead ads. Sorry, not the stack. This is the workspace. So I've created a new workspace and now I'm going to create a new stack for you all from my side. So I will just name it from untitled stack to Facebook lead ads. Okay. I do not want any description. So I will just save it here. Table one can also be renamed. You can rename it. So just go for Facebook leads data. Okay. So I have uh, given it a name and now I have already, uh, you know, made the two columns here first for the name and second for the email. So what will happen? when we will connect our stack by account and then let me connect it again to show you from the start how it's done. Yes, delete it. Okay, add new connection. And now whenever you will, uh, you know, go for add new connection, it will ask you for an API key. Now from where you will get this API key. We will go here. Then we will click on accounts. Here, if you have an avatar, you can click on an avatar mine is empty. I will click on account. Now I will go here, scroll down and you can see this is the API key. Just copy it directly. 
and go and paste it right here. So you can see the API key is this and then save it. As soon as you will save it, your stack by account will be connected to the Pebbly Connect dashboard. Now what we will do, we will first find our workspace where we want to work. And I have already shown you the workspace is Facebook lead ads. Now it will ask me for the stack. So I do not have any more stacks apart from this one only. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this uh, stack or uh, I do not have to select this stack because it will al already automatically be taken by this, uh, you know, by this uh, Pebbly Connect uh, options because I do not have any other stack here in my workspace Facebook lead ads. If I would have been adding more stacks, you can see it right here in the list. Okay. Now Facebook lead ads table is Facebook lead ads data or Facebook leads data, the name which I have given it and now name. Now what I'm going to do here, I am going to use a technique which is called mapping. So mapping will let me take this data here and put in into this field right here without copying or pasting or without manually typing it. So here I want the name. So I will go here and I will search for name. This is my name Arpit Kumar Sharma. Now email it is asking me for the email. I will map in email right here. So I have both the details and as soon as I will do the save and send test request part, you can see a response has been received here and a new stack or sorry, no, not the stack, a new entry has been made into our stack, uh, Facebook leads data, Facebook lead ads, where we have table Facebook leads data and the new entry is Arpit Kumar Sharma, the social fever 2020 at the rate gmail.com. Okay. Now let us try it once more. I will go back. And now <clears throat> what we are going to do, we will just go here test form and now I am going to create a new lead. So the new lead is testing lead at the rate gmail.com. I am just putting in a random email for you and the name is John Simmons. Okay. So the name is John Simmons. And the email is testing lead at the rate gmail.com. Now, as soon as I will click on next and as soon as I will click on submit, you can see that, uh, you know, the response has been submitted. Now, what we have to do, we should have response in stack by right, but we do not have that. Now, why is that? Let me tell you. We are using a trigger named polling right here. Now, what is that? There are some applications where the polling trigger is used. When this trigger is used, those applications send the data to other applications in some time, which means either we can get the data in five seconds. It can also take five minutes and it can also take 10 to 15 minutes. Now, Facebook is one of those applications from where we are going to get our data either in five seconds or in five minutes or in 15 minutes. So let me refresh it and let's see if we have our data or not. And if we do not have our data, we will wait for a few minutes. We do not have our data. So which means we are going to wait for a few minutes and then we will see the response. Okay. And as you can see, I have waited for about eight minutes. So, you know, I cannot show you those eight minutes, right? Because the video length will be, you know, increasing and you won't be looking at the video then. So I have waited for about eight minutes. And after eight minutes, you can see the response is John Simmons testing lead at the rate gmail.com. So we have both the name and the email. So this is how you can integrate your Facebook with your stack by so that whenever a new Facebook lead is you know, received into your ad, you can just, you know, create a new record for that in your stack by uh, sheet, okay, or your stack by database. So 
I hope you have understood this integration and if you want to copy this beautiful automation you can just go and clone this workflow from my description box but to do that first you have to make an account here and to make an account here you have to go for sign up signing up is absolutely free I'm telling you again we are giving you 100 free workflows from our side so that uh, you know not 100 free workflows 100 free tasks from our side so that you can uh, you know practice these workflows what we are teaching you and those tasks will be you know uh, refreshed every month so you are getting 100 free tasks every month so i hope you are going to do that and what are you waiting for sign up now hasta la vista so thanks a lot for watching our video i hope you understood everything if you want any other event to be added in our module you can just mail at admin at the rate pebbly.com Apart from that, if you have any queries, you can just go on to this forum and ask about your queries. And if you want to check the pricing of the software, you can go on here and check the pricing of the software. I hope you understood everything and you loved every bit of our video. So keep loving, keep subscribing. Thank you.